Lots of smiles tonight after a 175 victory, Western Washington over Central Washington University. Boy, it's cold outside, but it was not in the gym tonight, especially in the second half. Coach Dolfo is joined by student athletes Riley Dykstra, Aspen Garrison, and Maddie Graham Boys. Coach, that second half, I don't know what you said to them at halftime, but uh, they were on, came out on fire and uh, executed pretty much every single game plan I could possibly imagine, probably from a coach's standpoint. But talk about your team's effort tonight, specifically in the second half. Yeah, it was kind of the tail between two halves. And I think we came out the first half and we were very tentative and, and we weren't catching ready and, and we played just really careful. And, and, and when you play that way, you make mistakes and you don't get into any flow. And I think the second half they came out and they just kind of threw that out the window and, and, and got rid of that first half and just played beautifully together. And they, they didn't care who did it. It was an extra pass all the time and they found the open person. and. These two did a, such a good job at opening up the game for us that they were catching ready. And when they started hitting their outside shots, we could get it going more inside. And so we had more of our in and out game, which we like to play. Maddie, not only 14 points tonight, but first quarter, you guys kind of really set the tone defensively. That's a big part of your game. Uh, Central has two of the most prolific scorers, not only in the GNAC and the nation, didn't reach double digits tonight. What was the game plan going in? And, uh, and, and how do you feel about locking that, that down when you know that was their game plan? Well, I definitely went into it knowing that I had a little bit more pressure on me just to make sure to stop the person I was guarding, but I had so much faith in my team. My team was the one backing me to push myself and to keep hard defense and keep pressure up. Um, but I mean, other than that, I think it just came down to like the energy the team provided me to keep playing hard. Aspen, your first Central Western game as a player. You've probably seen this play out on the court a hundred times in your youth, but uh, talk about the energy in the gym tonight. Uh, it seemed like in the second half, you guys were passing where everything was just kind of working. Another pass, an additional pass, an open shot, but just the energy, the rivalry, the victory tonight. Talk about it. Yeah, the energy in the whole gym was amazing. Like it was so much fun to play in and our bench brings a lot of that as well. I mean, we're hard to guard when everyone's hitting and when there's so much energy and we truly played for each other and that makes everyone excited. Riley, you kind of had a, uh, we'll call it a, just a hot stretch tonight. You, you were five for five and threes before finally missing one. But when you're feeling it like that, is it just like the cylinder is a, is a beach basket? Yes, it was awesome. But I'm just so lucky to have teammates that find me. And we're just so selfless. And I think that's what's cool about our team is we don't care who does it. They're just going to find the open person. And I just got lucky to be that open person tonight. So yeah, And you caught right And in. I caught right <laughs> in. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, coach, we could have probably invited five or six, seven different players in here. You guys used everyone tonight. Obviously, Mason was on the bench uh, with an injury, but everyone played. Everyone contributed. Um, you've got freshmen like uh, you know Demi Dykstra and Jane Watts out there putting in big time minutes when there was some foul trouble and some guards. That's got to feel good in this type of game to have everyone contribute from minute one to minute 40. Yeah, it really does. And I think every single person who went on the floor was focused and worked hard. Jaden was diving for balls and, you know, hitting the boards hard. And I think Demi went in with a lot of confidence. And so I think that helps everybody. It gives our starting group a rest. And um, yeah, and I think it gives everyone that kind of feeling that we're doing this together. Okay, we've talked a lot about who's in this room and who's not. Another, you know, great game for Brooke Walling. 9 for 10 from the field, 21 points, 12 rebounds. We saluted her at the pregame with 1,000 uh, collegiate points. She's about to hit that mark as a Viking. What, what does she bring to the court? I and mean, we've talked about it a lot, but in a game like this, she really steps it up. I mean, she brings everything. I mean, I can't, I, she boards, she, she can score, she passes, she plays incredible defense, she blocks shots. I mean, but the, the best thing, and I think these guys can all attest for, is she is an amazing teammate and she cares about this team and she, it's not about her, it's about her team and that's what she leaves us with. Well, a great team victory tonight, 175 Western over Central. Sounds good saying that, but big game coming up yeah. Saturday. There's no off nights in the GNAC, so Northwest Nazarene, 7 o'clock. Get some rest. We'll see you back here in Carver Gym Saturday night. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you.